Well, good evening. This has been um, quite an event. Um, it's an honor for me to represent the people of Fiat Chrysler tonight. Uh, my grandfather worked for Chrysler, and my father worked for Chrysler. And so I'm a third generation FCA kid. Um, and I worked for Sergio for nine years. And, and I, I suppose in some respects that qualifies me to, to be here right now. But um, what I would tell you is that anybody that had an interaction with Sergio, no matter how brief, is as equally qualified to get up here and talk about him. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that more in a second. Uh, as you heard from the, the video tribute, Sergio truly was one of the most transformative forces our industry has ever seen. Certainly for FCA, but also the industry, and for that matter, all of the companies uh, that he led in all the industries that he was leading, he transformed what it meant in all of these places to speak hard truths. And he did all this while leading the transformation of a group that in 2004 included Fiat Auto, Ferrari, and Case New Holland, which is the industrial company. In 2004, that company had a market value of $5 billion, US dollars, roughly. Today, it's three global companies with a combined market value of over $65 billion. And, and behind that, just in this country alone in the US, when he arrived, since he arrived in 2009, FCA has added 30,000 good automotive jobs in the United States. After, um, a year ago, after the sad news, FCA employees, countless FCA employees, emailed or posted on our internal intranet their own stories about Sergio. Some reflected on when he served uh, burgers and donuts at our family day events. One day was in the rain, guys. Remember that? That was fun. Um, one employee wrote in and was describing um, that he had, a, he had a project, the employee had a project that he was bringing into one of our committees, and uh, he was very nervous about presenting at the committee, and lo and behold, he was undergoing heavy questioning from the leadership team as Sergio sat by quietly. And the employee recounted in his note that um, finally Sergio leaned over to him and put his arm, his hand on the employee's arm and said, don't worry, I'm going to approve your project. These guys are just doing this to get it out of their system. <laughs> um, and this is the part that I would say, if there's one thing um, that meant the most to me personally, and getting back to what I said at the beginning, that would qualify anybody that met Sergio to speak tonight, is that there was one common theme to every story. Each interaction with, with Sergio was intellectually and it was socially deep. It had true meaning, every interaction. He was not interested in superficial discussions about the weather. And he didn't look over your shoulder in a crowded room for the next person to talk to. He was locked into you. He was locked into what you were about. He wanted to know about your family. He wanted to know about your passions. He wanted to know about your vulnerabilities and your ambitions. Um, I think we all try to do this all the time. I know I do, and I fail all the time. This, I think, was what was unique about him. Although we as a team, and the folks here, we called him boss, he was never just our boss. He was a big, big part of our lives. He demanded a great deal from people, but he was, helping, he was there to help us improve and make us each personally reach farther, much, much farther than we personally ever thought we could ever do. Mike Manley, our CEO, has often said to us that working for Sergio was the best training anyone could ever have. So I'm going to leave you with one quote from Sergio. It's very brief, and it dates back to the presentation of our five-year business plan to the financial community in 2014, a plan that, that at that time was uh, largely viewed as completely unrealistic by that community. And that day, Sergio, he summed up our ambitions by simply saying, Mediocrity is never worth the trip. 
It was short, it was simple, it captured the essence of our plan and our culture, and that is his legacy. So on behalf of everyone at FCA, we, we want to express our deep appreciation for this and to the Automotive Hall of Fame for the recognition of our boss. Thank you very much.